Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is actually about transfers, because there's a few names going around that I want to talk about. Chelsea, of course, want strikers. They, Frank Lampard has said he wants someone to finish off chances. It does look like both Giroud and maybe even Michy Batshuayi could be exiting in the summer. And there's a couple of names banded around going around the media that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Also, a left back. Chelsea want left backs. There's been a left back linked interesting stuff i want to talk about it tell you the numbers and get your thoughts on it as well before we do get into today's content please do subscribe to football therapy if you've not already done so please do sub we're on the way to 40k now absolutely mental scenes make sure you subscribe hit that bell notifications icon why not like the video and hey follow me on instagram to hang out with me on instagram lives all right then let's get into it so really i'm just talking about one striker today because you guys know about the Moussa dembele links i've done videos on him before I suggest you go back and watch him if you've not done so. That's very much Chelsea's first target, but spoiler, the name that's going round at the moment is Lautaro Martinez of Inter Milan, 22 years old, an absolute hot shot, but a performing centre forwards for Antonio Conte, who seems to be the nemesis of Chelsea at the moment. But I'm going to get into why that transfer could be a thing in a minute. But let's talk about this linked left back. Right, Antony Robinson of Wigan. Now you're going to think, oh, Wigan, man. But last time we got a fullback from Wigan, it worked out pretty well. Granted, it was already our player and a very good player, but Robinson also is a very good player. He was actually going to AC Milan before a move broke down for some reason. And, you know, when you're thinking, okay, Milan wanted him, he's got to be decent. If Milan want to play from England's, like, second division, he must be good, right? Let's take a look. So, he's a USA international and he's 22 years old. He can play left back and left midfield. Versatile, lovely, 183 centimeters tall. And two man of the match awards already this season in the league. When your fullback has multiple man of the match awards, I mean, Reese James probably had loads, but that's a really positive thing. He's got a goal as well, so there's that. He wins aerials, which is important. Ah, but this is the real good stuff here. He makes 4.3 tackles and interceptions per game, which is a really good number defensively, 4.3 per game. So he gets stuck in, he's gonna defend that left flank. Makes 2.8 clearances as well. All these defensive numbers are starting to look good. And rather interestingly as well, he makes 1.3 dribbles per game down the left hand flank so obviously you can play left midfield as well so he's used to going forward that's really really important for Chelsea Frank Lampard wants dynamic fullbacks that can play in the attack and be really important in the attack 1.3 dribbles he's going to carry the ball in field he looks pretty good to be honest now think about it for a second right if Chelsea are going to be spending loads of money on the center forward slash hopefully Jaden Sancho the problem position of left back there might not be any funds left to spend on that player position. You dig? Buying a fullback from the championship could be the perfect answer, especially if Milan want him, like Frank Lampard can look at him and go, yes, he's a dynamic, good defensive fullback, which is what we need. He's young enough. He's a USA international, which is really interesting. So he could have something in common with Pulisic, build the camaraderie there. He might just slot straight in. It could work, man. I mean, you could, what's the alternatives at the moment? Ben Chilwell, who let's be honest, let's all be honest here, he's going to be overpriced. People in the comments and uh, fans of my channel are all calling for Tellez, Grimaldo, these kind of fullbacks, fine, I get it. But the truth is, apparently Chelsea have identified Chilwell as a major target and he's probably going to cost like world record fee, well, not Maguire money, but he's going to be like world re record fee for a fullback like 70 million pounds plus, which even if you feel like he's got talent, that's just seemed nuts. Right, so say you got a choice. You, do, you have the funds for Ben Chilwell, 75 million or something, or 20 million for this Wigan left back. I've already forgotten his name, Antony something. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a good option. And to be honest, I quite like that. Chelsea need to be scoring goals, you know, really converting chances. That's where the money's got to go, but they do need a left back. If they see value in this player, and if he is going to be a starting level left back for Chelsea, why not? Go and get a good deal. Players from the Championship do well in the Premier League of late and become good players. Manchester United, Dan James. I know he's gone off the boil a bit, but he looked like he was comfortable when the team was in form. 
Uh, James Madison looks like an absolute elite superstar in the Premier League as a number 10. He came from the championship. Uh, Harvey Barnes came from the championship. There's loads, man. You know, Andy Robertson came from Hull and from Scotland before that. These like, lower levels of football. They can become superstars, so don't turn your nose up at it. It could be a really good option. So we'll see if anything develops there, but I like it. I like it. Right, moving on, let's talk about centre forwards. Now, before we talk about Lautaro, let's talk about the situation. We all know Giroud's gone. I mean, she's just gone. Obviously, he's out of contract. <laughs> he will not be signing any form of extension. I reckon the only way Giroud would sign the extension is if he played every game to the end of the season and got assurances he's the starter for the next 12 months, which he won't get. Giroud's gone, and I think, I think, Batshuayi's time at Chelsea might finally be done. Now, I'm not saying that with any resentment. He scored some iconic goals. He had a really good goals to minutes ratio. He might still have a good one for Chelsea, you know, but the goal that won Chelsea the Premier League against West Brom, the goal uh, against Ajax away this season to win the game, huge goal this season from Batshuayi. That's the difference of how we went through the Champions League and Ajax didn't. Do you know what I mean? And goals like Atletico Madrid away when he scored and that was the first loss in the Wanda Metropolitano. And do you know what I mean? He scored these iconic goals. He has scored goals generally. He's got a hat trick for Chelsea as well. Um, he's got a few braces. He's been all right, but the truth is no coach has really fancied him from Conte to Sarri to Lampard. It just seems a bit like never really happened for him. Um, he'll do really well somewhere else. I really like him personally, but you need someone that's going to properly put the pressure on Tammy Abraham, maybe even take his spot or challenge for his spot. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I think Moussa Dembele is perfect because he seems like a consistent goal scorer throughout his career. He's 23 years old. He'll probably be about... 50 60 million pounds um it just seems right i think it's quite a safe buy personally um he's not obviously i don't think he'll come with this massive pressure to be a superstar as well they'll be like oh you know chelsea played a lot for him but i reckon he's school goals and he could be a long-term option but obviously these last sort of 24 48 hours chelsea have been linked with lautaro martinez of inter milan now i know what you're saying this sounds crazy not only has he got an excellent partnership with Lukaku, uh, he playing well, why would Inter want to sell him? Also, Inter are being managed by Antonio Conte, who's just sued Chelsea for a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like hard, I get that. But football is a business and you've got to do what's best for your team. Conte knows that more than anyone. He wants a left back like Alonso or Emerson, right? So the two clubs that are being majorly linked with Martinez are Chelsea and Manchester United, both these strikers. I doubt they see Odi and Agalu as a long-term option unless he scores like 10 goals since he's come in. But do you know what I mean? So Chelsea lose Batshuayi and Giroud. They want to maybe bring in another elite striker to rotate with Tammy. Who knows, right? Now, Lautaro Martinez has a release clause for I think around 94 million pounds. Obviously, that's a lot. You could trigger that and get him, but I think he scored like 16 goals this season. Uh, he's 22 years old. He's a year younger than um, Dembele. He's not worth 94 million pounds, right? Maybe he's worth 60. 70 million pounds? I don't know, but he scored five goals in the Champions League group stage. This guy can score at the highest level, and not only is he a good centre forward, he's good at combining with other forwards. Frank Lampard likes his Chelsea forward line to do a lot of interchanging. And actually, he could be a bit of a different option than Tammy Abraham, who Tammy Abraham is very much in the mould of a big centre forward, like a lone striker, a number nine. Do you know what I mean? He's getting better at hold up play, he likes to turn and shoot, um, and he can run in behind and stuff like that. But Lautaro would be a little bit more of a cloak and dagger, shadow striker, and to be honest, it would be a pretty elite signing. Now, I'm not saying Chelsea should pay 96 million for this guy. I'd rather Chelsea buy an elite winger and spend the bulk of their summer cash on that. But if a deal can be struck with Antonio Conte for, say, the same amount they'd spend on Moussa Dembele plus Alonso, can we work something out here, Conte? Do you know what I'm saying? He certainly would be an elite level signing more so than Moussa Dembele, probably more pressure on his shoulders. I don't know, for me, I think Moussa Dembele makes the most sense because he's the sort of player profile, I've said this before in the channel, that would come and not necessarily undermine Tammy Abraham. Scoring the same sort of numbers as him, maybe ever so slightly less, would put the pressure on but he's not like a big brand name that would undermine Tammy Abraham as Chelsea's number nine but it would be just enough of a level of play if you like to push him on to either progress or if Tammy drops form he can come in and replace him rather comfortably and you won't have to worry about 
playing someone like Giroud or Batshuayi who don't seem to be gelling in the team. You get it? It's very, very hard indeed to talk about this. I mean, Darren Bent, the former striker, recently linked uh, Raul Jimenez to Chelsea saying there'll be potential suitors in the summer to buy from Wolves. I have talked about Jimenez before. There's absolutely no reason to think Wolves would sell him. I just think he's an excellent Premier League proven striker. If Wolves found another gem in Europe that they want to sign, say from Portugal, they might see an opportunity to cash in massively on Jimenez if they need to strengthen elsewhere, but really I can't see them doing that. Plus also strengthening a top six rival or top set up eight rival. I don't even know who's in the top six anymore. The truth is, these are just links from the media at the moment, but we, what do we know? We know Chelsea absolutely want to buy a striker in the summer. We know Frank Lampard's spoken about Moussa Dembele, how he's in his head, so we know the link's real. And we've, you know, Leon have already said maybe in the summer, but not in January. So that's very much real. But Lautaro Martinez, that could be a pipe dream, but there is obviously a release clause there that could be triggered but it's just too much money anyway i want to get your guys thoughts and opinions on these players what do you think do you think they're the best two striker options what should chelsea be looking at what do you think of antony robinson i mean i'm not even going to check that's his name again the left back from wigan what do you think of him i think it's a good option just on terms of the theory of the signing what do you think? Get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. Make sure you go subscribe to Jan's Yard, my second channel. Link is in the top of the description. I use that to play video games and do more casual videos. I uploaded yesterday. Go check it out. Please do support me. Go subscribe. Of course, follow me on social media at football. Yannick, that is it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will, of course, see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I laugh me, baby.